it's news time again. It's time for Saturday news. We've got plenty to talk about. The track has got some borders. Ah, I can actually drive a car on the track. Feeling safe whilst doing the news. Talk about that. Let's get stuck into it. It is Saturday. I want to say a big thank you to the members. But it's time to get stuck into your Saturday news. How do you turn this thing off? So let's dive headfirst into the news and I'm gonna try and drive this around the track and not damage it. It is the BRM 124 scale 240Z car 33 driven by Bob Scott. That is my favorite out of the last three that they've released or the three that they've released. If you're wanting to know what I'm talking about, check out my review, the unboxing, and we are gonna be reviewing them on this track. So let's drive around and we'll start with some exciting news from MR Slot Car CA. Now I'm gonna give a big shout out here to Worldwide Slot Car Chat with Greg Gelb. The good folks on there were talking yesterday with the man behind MR and of course, Electric Dreams, and they're showing off a couple of their latest cars. Please jump over and support the channel, watch the live. They are a wealth of information. And the first car we'll talk about is the Corvette. Marco from Electric Dreams has the prototype on him. Awesome. I think this is a big move by MR, what's your thoughts? I think it's gonna look incredible. Also, they showed off the Ferrari, which again, how do you go wrong? It's a Ferrari, it's built by MR, it's gonna be great. Of course, Marco again, showing that off. And last but not least, is probably my favorite out of the three that they showed, I think it was only three, was the Lotus Esprit. Love it. This was a poster car for me back in the day. Very big fan of that. So please jump over, support Greg Gelb and his chat, the Worldwide Slot Car Chat, and of course, support MR Slot Car CA and Electric Dreams. And some big news, if you are wanting some of that, whilst we do a burnout here, if you are wanting some MR products in Australia, check out Andrew Lehman or Lehman Hobbies. He will be bringing them in for you to buy from your favorite shop. So there you go, MR. And let's continue with the shout outs for Greg Galb and the Worldwide Slot Car Chat. And they showed on there, well Marco did, showed the Slotted 510 prototype. Now yes, we have got it from another brand, but this is a different take. We're talking plastic chassis. It's not a metal chassis. It's a completely different car. It's exciting. So I can't wait to see this in the hands of some drivers out there. And I think this is a really good move by Slotted. So there you go. Some more 510 love. Check out Greg Galb and his YouTube channel and the Worldwide Slot Card Chat. And thanks for Marco for showing it. And next we have some interesting news from Fly. They've put on their socials, they've shared a print on Thingiverse. Uh, I'm gonna be getting into the 3D printing world. Uh, if you didn't see a good friend of the channel, Dave printed me a camera car. Awesome, I'll, if I, I'll, I'll show you whilst I'm talking. A really awesome bit of kit. They've shared a print on Thingiverse times two for their BMW 3.5 CSL. Now, I think this is great. If you are wanting to upgrade a chassis or an older car that you got, 3D printing is the way to go. But it's really cool that they are showing that this is available and if you are wanting to get it, jump on Thingiverse, get the print and update your car. So next up we have Scale Auto showing off the Callaway C7R GT3. Now. I've got to be quite honest, I'm not really fussed about Corvettes, but I think this looks really good. I am happy they're doing Corvettes, but it is, maybe it's year of the Corvette. I think it's year of the Corvette. This one looks good. Uh, will I get it? I, I will try and get one for review. Again, Corvettes are not my thing, but I'm glad they are making them. It's an American muscle car. It looks tough, but also something exciting they've showed us, which this one tickles my fancies, are some abrasive foam sanding. You can almost call them files. And we've got 400 grit, 600 grit, 1000 grit, 1500 grit, and 2000 grit. And that's it from Scale Auto, but I better go fix the car. Now I think it's time to swap cars and talk about the next car that I'm about to put around the track, and it's BRM again, 124 scale. The legends have sent me three of the Opal Cadets. 308 is my favorite out of the three, and if you are wanting to see the other two, stay tuned, I've got the unboxing coming on this, either this weekend or it'll be on Monday. Love this thing, and I'm gonna actually be testing this on my Quick tracks. So we are getting the borders done so we can do some testing. Good segue to talk about quick tracks. Please support them. They're the latest slot car track builder in Australia, trying to achieve that off the shelf style of track. And as you can see here, we're working away on mine, which I'm having a lot of fun. So let's take this one for a squeeze and let's go Carrera because we've got a couple of um, good little bit of info from Carrera. Firstly, let's talk cars. We've got the Ford GT Mark II. This is an exclusive car from them, a limited edition, 124 scale, 
highly recommend it. I have one of the last limited editions. These will sell out. Now, I don't know how available they are worldwide. Normally it is local, so Europe. But if you can get one, definitely jump on one. What else do we have? We've also got the Lancia Beta Monte Carlo. We have seen this. They're showing us some more pictures. I've been doing my Lancia Beta around the track, which, good segue. Let's talk about that. So Carrera Zimbala, which is the distributor here, have reached out to me. I'm getting some more track pieces. We are building a Carrera digital track for club racing and for the Carrera project. I have got one camera. It is a, an expensive venture, but I do hope that pays off in the long run. I hope it brings a lot of views to the hobby for the digital world, so stay tuned for that. But thank you to Zimbla for supplying some more cars and some more track. And next, let's talk scale electric. We've also got some awesome news to share on that as well. But first up, we've got the Fab One versus the Batman Mobile, or the old school Batmobile. When it comes to size, the Fab One is an absolute monster. It's grown on me. Well, literally, it's big, but it is growing on me. I think it looks really cool. And also, they've got some videos here to share of the Golf, the latest Golf livery GTI going around their track. So enjoy that video whilst I'm talking because I think it looks really, really good. I'm a big fan of the Rabbit, which is what they call this car. But yeah, big fan of that one. And what's the exciting news from Scalatric? Well, we are getting some cars sent. I want to thank them. We do have the Scalatric track. It hasn't gone missing. We've got a lot of space in the right-hand side over there and we will be building a test track for the cars that they send to test. So yes, we will still have a Scalatric track on the channel. So next up, let's talk Magnetic Racing Absolute Legends. Big supporter of the channel, they are members of the channel and I do get product from time to time to review so I do thank those legends and I do get their product because I trust in what they do. But they've got some awesome stuff to share with you. Some new stickers for your billboards. They've got the, I've lost it, no I haven't, the Firestone which Looks good, and these are stickers, so nice and easy to put on your billboard. And also the SO Drip the, on the motorbike. I like that one. It's got like that vintage feel to it. I really like it. But probably my favorite bit of news from them, a new product in 164, HO if you want to call it, scale, is one of their floodlights. Now, I love HO. If you watch the channel, I, I'm a big supporter of HO, and so are they. So if you are building a HO track, Take a look at Magnetic Racing because I haven't forgotten about that scale. And let's continue with HO and we'll talk the almighty Viper Scale Racing, a very good American brand. I love their tracks. Their kit is really good. They are showing us the new V2 Brass and Delrin independent front end. So we've got it in black or in traditional brass. Again, if you want to upgrade your cars, take a look at the Viper Scale website. Really good product. Again, I wish we can get more of their tracks down under because they are the creme de la creme when it comes to HO tracks. And let's talk racing. Our good friends from Show Us Your Slots. Do not forget the Revo Nats are just around the corner. If you haven't got your ticket, jump on. It's going to be a great event. Big weekend of racing over two tracks. We've also got our local racing at Outlaw Slots, the NSR. GT3 and a bath racing. I did do it last weekend. Check out the video, a lot of fun. And they also do the Carrera, I'll call it the Carrera Fun Day, GT3, out of the box. Yes, they are running magnets. I've had some questions. Trav, are they magnets not? It's purely out of the box. And I know a lot of people don't like magnets, but let me tell you, if this brings the numbers because it's pure out of the box, if you want to true your tires, you can, but that's as far as you really go. That's the kind of racing I think we need to get new people into it. Then we can go crazy and put whatever modifications you want. So jump down there, check them out. That's on the alternative Sunday, so they do change, yeah, some local racing in Melbourne. And let's not forget about AFX Melbourne HO Facebook page. They are trying to get up and running the social night number three. I was a part of number two, it was a lot of fun, so let's make it bigger and better. If you're not into HO, this might be the time to give it a crack. I know some people think it's just hold the trigger and let the magnet do the work. No, it was a lot of fun. So jump over there, join the page. All the information is needed. They are voting at the moment of when it should be sort of run school holidays or not, but get behind it. We need, we need all scale racing in Melbourne, but of course, all scale racing in Australia. So get on it. And I almost forgot NSR's latest beast, the McLaren 720S. Special car here from Spa. Don't sleep on NSR. If you haven't had an NSR in your collection, Jump on the McLaren, very fast, very good looking car. 
So that's wrap mm -hmm. on today's edition of Let's Lock Our News for a Saturday. I will do a little bit of a spotlight on a new center next week. I believe it's Queensland. Yeah, it is Queensland. I'll try and get some more information because I think it's open now. I could be wrong, but I will get all the information I can to do a nice little video awesome looking place. Um, so next week I'll do a little highlight on that. And also I want to thank everyone for sticking with the channel. You may have seen it's been a bit of a dip at the moment. Um, life gets in the way sometimes, but I am trying to get as much stuff as I can done. And the Carrera project is something I'm really trying to push for. So a lot of stuff behind the scenes. So I do appreciate. And of course the members. Can't forget the members. If you want to be a member, please consider joining. They get a lot of videos before time. So a lot of the stuff, they'll see the news first and then it goes to you guys. They get a lot of behind the scenes when I'm doing something interesting. And if I get a delivery, which we are soon, they get that first as well. And it directly helps the channel. I do want to do this full time. And of course I need all the support I can get, uh, especially from Australia. If you are an Australian shop, if you've got racing on, please hit me up. Please share the videos. Please post it on your Facebook and I will share the love back. We've got to come together as an Australian community and I would love to support all shops and everything that's happening in Australia. I'm located here. I'm pretty much the only full-time YouTube presenter when it comes to the slot car world. So please use it. But as always, at that slot car, go on Instagram, YouTube and all those great places. If this is the kind of content you like, consider subscribing, but it's time to get this thing ooh, sideways. Yeah!